1611 here, and welcome to another tutorial video. And uh, today, whatever day this is, <laughs> we'll be covering the Renault FT-17 light tank of World War One. So as you can see, here's the tank. But um, this video will be was requested by Inri0202. Um, hopefully, I pronounced that right. And um, he also requested another tank, which will be coming soon, but this is the one that fits the World War I theme, which we've been going with recently. And uh, this is a small light tank with you know, just one regular cannon on it, some of them had machine guns, and it has a little place to get in right here. And you can see out here, if you want it to look a little bit better and you don't want the inside seeing you can just place a block there but I like this and later we'll get into a little detail up here so you can have a good look at the tank with the little tail it has uh, I did the tracks not just from coal I did them uh, from uh, Stumberg slabs like the British Mark V sort of thing um, and I think it's it looks pretty good but uh, this video will be going up either Wednesday night or Thursday, which is tomorrow for me. It's Wednesday for me right now. Um, so, yeah. If it's up tomorrow, Thursday, then it will be replacement for any other video that would come out tomorrow. Anyways, yeah, that would be the Renault FT-17. You have a good look at it. Let's get on to the tutorial. First thing you're going to do is start out with some green stained clay like this and come back. Eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to come up. We're going to break these two. And we're going to come up one here. Place one there. And we're going to fill this in. Now, unlike most build, most of my builds, this one is attached to the ground because of how small it is. So that is okay. And we're going to grab dark oak slabs and place one just like that with cobblestone walls here. And we'll go ahead and do the tracks, which are just going to be stone brick um, blocks at the bottom here. And then we're going to do one up, a stair, and up here it's going to be a block up to there and then a stair. And it's going to be one, two, three, and then one, two, three, like that. Perfect. We're going to do a block of coal here and here with stairs facing into those. And two cobblestone walls there. Don't need that. And we'll do buttons on those. Do the same thing on the other side. So blocks. Just like that. And then we will have the... Uh, like that. Yeah. I am doing it right, just making sure. Don't want to mess this up. And then block there. We'll do one, two, three. And then we have the block here. Yep, I'm doing that wrong. There we are. Right there. Stair there. I did just come up with this tutorial, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did that. There we are. And then one, two, three. Break that one. Perfect. Same thing. Block of coal. Stairs. And those with buttons. Perfect. Alright, and then we're going to come up here and be placing blocks here. Just like that. Perfect. And then we want cobblestone walls like that. Perfect. Um, grab some rails and feed them around the back like that. And then I had trap doors right here. Perfect. Yay. Alright, and then we will do the turret. For the turret, we're going to break these and place these. And then on 
front here, we're going to have that. And then on here, we want to have um, some like this. We're going to have blocks there, right there. And then cobblestone walls, two of those, because it does have a very short uh, barrel. And then on the back here, we want the dark oak like that. And that is almost it. Gotta make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Yeah, that's almost it. We're gonna get uh, iron bars. And then on the back here, we're gonna do one. Not that way. Two. One. Two. And then one like that. And that uh, it did have like a little toe hitch. Or I'm not sure exactly what it is <laughs> on the back. And then we're going to have a wooden trapdoor here. Break that and that. One, two, there we go, and that one break. Place a lever right here and here. Redstone torch in here, just so there is some light when it is dark. So as you can see when you get in here, it's a little dark. I do have shaders on so you can't really see, but this would give you a little bit of light. And then we'll do a that real fast. Perfect. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for the Renault FT17. Hope you guys enjoyed. And for those who have stayed to this point, I have something special. So, I mean, it's pretty much what I usually do, but <laughs> um, if you really want something cool, if you just place a dispenser right here, and if you want to cover it up to make it look better, you can cover it up with uh, either iron or regular wood trapdoors. And then we'll do. Eh, come on. Dang it. <laughs> Can't get a good angle here. And this top one will have to be a lever. Flip it back. And that can be your little fire control tower, but also, when you are in here, if you have a lever here, you have this. See, okay, there we go. It does, uh, when you do have all those, it will flip open, but um, you can also not have those and just have, but they will open, but here's the thing. Here's the thing I was getting at anyways. <laughs> If you take some arrows or fire charges and put them in here, then you can fire them from in here and you have an actual low cannon. And you can see out here. So I think that works out pretty good. So um, the, that has been the Renault FT17. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please scratch that like button. And um, it really helps out the channel and helps us grow a little bit further each time. We're gonna break those also. Please. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, if you have any requests you would like me to do, please leave it in the comments on any of my videos. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Zaniac out.